The talkback panel is the interface between the surface talk button, the talkback channel, the talk to aux function, and output routing. First, let's start with the talkback input channel. The talkback channel is slightly different to other channel types in that it has no fader, mute, or output routing controls. It simply allows you to apply processing, inserts, and dynamic control to your chosen talk input without using up one of your 40 input channels. Touching at the top of the talkback channel opens the talkback setup panel where you can select from which socket your signal is sourced for both the main and alternative input. The same input panel is opened when you touch the input box in the talkback panel. If you change the input source here, the same source will be selected on the talkback channel. Similarly, the gain control in the talkback panel is the same gain control as seen on the talkback input channel strip. Thus, any changes to one will be seen on the other. The two boxes on the left-hand side of the talkback panel control the routing of the talkback signal. Touch on the lower of the two boxes and the direct output routing panel appears. From here, the talkback audio signal can either be internally routed to graphic EQs or internal effects or to physical output sockets on any connected rack or on the local I.O. Touch on the last box in the upper left corner and the talk to aux setup panel opens. From here, you can create a group of auxes which the talk signal will be routed when the surface talk button is pressed or the talk button in the talkback panel is touched. 